Hello students, today I am going to start the first chapter Cell Structure, Cell Cycle and Cell Division with a caption Hashtag Stay Home Save Lives And the chapter is Cell Structure Cell Cycle and Cell Division In this chapter, we will study about the structure of uh, chromosomes, chromatin fibers, the genetic material and the cell cycle that is which involves the cycle, uh, two divisions, mitotic and uh, meiotic divisions. In this chapter, we'll, we will study about mitotic division only. So first we start with the chromosomes. Chromosomes, first as you all know that uh, in a cell, there is a prominent eukaryotic cell, there is a prominent nucleus, so nucleus inside the nucleus, thin uh, thread like structures are present called chromatin fibers. Now this chromatin fibers, before the uh, cell division start, before the uh, cell division start, these um, structures are thread like, thread like. And it was discovered by Walther Fleming. Walther Fleming in 1882. In 1882, in the rapidly dividing cells of uh, larva of rapidly dividing cells, dividing cells of the larva of salamander. Since he has used the old type of uh, microscope um, to observe all this and uh, he has noticed it appeared to him as a thread like structure or a fine thread like structure. So he has named the cell division, cell division mitosis as mitosis which literally means Literally means thread. Thread. So the the word the mitosis was coined by, by Walter Fleming. Was observed this in the cell um, dividing cells of larva, uh, larval cells of uh, salamander. And this chromatin uh, chromosomes. It contains. Uh, it is made up of chromatin fibers. Chromatin fibers are thin thread like structures. And after the cell division starts, after the um, this cell division uh, starts, these uh, thread-like structures they become they condense, become thick, they coil around the histone proteins. They become thick and coil around the histone protein. And there is a uh, which is an octomer. Octomer means. 8. Optimal 8 histone proteins histone proteins coiled with coiled by chromatin fibers form a nucleosome nucleosome all these processes starts after the cell division so nucleosome these nucleosomes then Form a, a form a coil structure like this. This uh, this form this type of form is formed and uh, which gives a um, condensed um, structure to the chromosome. And chromosome, if it is having only two arms, if it is having only two arms, then it is called a divalent structure. Like this, it is a divalent. If it forms this type of form uh, structure, then it is called a tetrad. Tetrad chromosomes, they are usually they are in the divalent forms at the time of um, cell division. They pair with other chromosome, uh, homologous chromosome and form the tetrad. Now chromatin fibers, chromatin fibers or the chromosome, the word chromosome, uh, chromo, chromo means Color. Chromo stands for color. And zone 
means one. So the word, the name of this is chromosome colored body as these uh, chromatin, uh, chromatin, chromatin structures in the condensed form, in the condensed form they pick up certain dyes and they are called chromosomes. They readily pick up the um, dyes so the, they appear and they are distinctively seen or they, they are easily distinguished in the uh, under the microscope so, uh, and the name is chromosomes for them. Then we come to the structure of DNA or we can say that uh, not DNA, the chromatin material. What it contains, chromatin material, chromatin. Chromatin material is made up of DNA which is 40% histone proteins, 60% these two together forms uh, octomers which again form nucleosomes and then finally the chromosomes chromosomes when they are thread like they are called chromatin when they are winded around the histone protein they condense they form the chromosomes this chromatin is before the starting of cell division before cell division and chromosomes after cell division starts division starts now this once again chromatin chromatin it contains 40 percent of dna histone proteins 60 percent so all these two together form the octomers that is eight uh, eight histone proteins are winded around by the chromatin materials, they form nucleosomes, again then the chromosome, chromatin fibers, they are before cell division, chromosomes are after cell division. Next topic is that the two components, first is the DNA and the histone proteins. DNA, the structure of DNA. Structure of DNA is DNA is a double helical structure which is proposed by Watson and Crick. Watson and Crick uh, proposed a double helical structure which is a, a right handed uh, coil structure. The strands, the, this, this is called the backbone of the helix. This backbone is made up of sugar and phosphate. And the ladders, these ladders are made up of nitrogenous bases. Nitrogenous bases. These two together known as nucleotide. Nucleotide. So the DNA strand or the double helix of uh, DNA is made up of uh, repeating units. Repeating units of nucleotides nucleotide and the st structure it was proposed by watson and crick watson and crick this nitro these nitrogenous bases they are four in number nitrogenous bases four in number adenine guanine cytosine and last is thymine. For this, these nitrogenous bases, they make, they make a base pair. Adenine always pairs with thymine with a double hydrogen bond. They, this bond is hydrogen bond between them, which is a strong bond. Then guanine pairs with the cytosine with triple hydrogen bond. Uh, triple hydrogen bond. If we know the base pair of one 
strand if we know we are knowing the since these two strands these two strands are complementary to each other complementary to each other so if we know the base sequence if we know the base sequence of one uh, one of the uh, strand or uh, this then the second one we can easily find out suppose like this if the base sequence in the first strand is like this the second we can easily uh, identify a is or a always pairs with t t always pairs with a g with c and c with g so this base sequence in these two strands are complementary to each other by knowing the base sequence of one of the strands of the double helix we can easily find out the other sequence of other strand so for um, this is all for today today's session and um, this one uh, once again uh, today's homework for you all today's homework is two questions for today question number 1 who proposed who proposed the name mitosis second one second question draw and describe the structure of dna in the next day's topic we will start with the stone protein